What's up guys, welcome back to Race Back. And today we're gonna install the splitter wickers on the front of the car. We actually install, uh, ordered these, I think the day that we got the car, maybe the day after, but uh, this car did not come with a handling pack. Really enough, it's a $1,500 option. And all that comes with the splitter wickers and the rear thing on the on the on the spoiler. So the splitter wickers were 450 bucks. And then the gurney flop is like 200 so like you literally pay twice as much to get it from factory i honestly don't get it but yeah we're gonna bolt them on right now should be quick not sure though so we'll, we'll see how it goes um and it should make the front look a lot more aggressive so we'll go with that um yeah let's go open them up So apparently these are safe for racing, but not for the road. Hmm. Hmm. All right, guys. So first order of business is get a T30 Torx screw or <laughs> socket and the wrench and get to work. Get to work. All right. So honestly, these line up perfectly without anything else. I don't see the point of taking the bottom or the top one up. Uh, here's the old bolts. They're the same as the new bolts. There's no Loctite on the new bolts. So I guess we're just there in case you want them. Okay, we're gonna start tightening everything up. All right, I had to uh, uh, move the wheel so I have better access to these bolts. It says take five of these out, but honestly, it only bolts onto these th three. These might be longer, I don't know, but we're gonna find out right now. So we're gonna go ahead and start loosening them up. All right, guys, so there's gonna be one, two, three, four. The Torx bolts we're gonna take out. This is to attach the bottom of the splitter. There's gonna be some push pins that we're gonna push in there for extra support, and then the rest of them are gonna be in the wheel well. Actually, on second thought, I think those longer bolts are for the bottom. Cause those stock ones are too short. Um, I'm gonna test that out. All right guys, so all the new hardware is literally for the bottom. So the the big bolts you get are gonna replace the OEM ones. <coughs> it's pretty self-explanatory. So we're gonna tighten everything up and show you the finished product on both sides. So that's basically how that's gonna look. Still to tighten it all up, but it's a big difference from this side. See how it's not, I mean, obviously it's not as aggressive, right? But. If you have a GT500, you don't have the handling pack. 100% do this. Uh, unless you really care about aerodynamics, meaning roll racing. But, I mean, if a splitter wrecker is going to make you lose a race. Like, I don't know, twist their on, But for me, I'm all about looks and I need that. All right, guys. That is a wrap for this video. Here are the canards. Here are the, the splitter wickers. They look amazing. We really love them. They are sick. Look at them. It just gives this car everything it really needed. Super easy install too. Like, you honestly can't beat it. I don't know, in my opinion, they complete the car. They make it a lot more aggressive. It just really adds to the w wideness of the fenders, you know? But yeah, hopefully uh, this helped you out if you needed help. Um, don't really see why you would, but if you want to see what you're getting yourself into before you do it, Super easy. You honestly really can't mess this up. Um, if you do, I'm judging you. <laughs> but yeah, there's our Viper. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.